we've been through a lot together in these past three and a half years, and to say it's been an easy journey for us is definitely an understatement. Through trials and tribulations, and lots of times with happiness, laughter, and just us being ourselves, to many hard times spent at night, losing sleep, stressing over getting things done, or shedding a tear or two. I've always been by your side through our many fit different phases, and that really shows just how much I truly love you. I promise your dad that I would protect you, that I would always love you, and always watch over you, and to be with you through better or worse, and through richer or poorer. Not only do I promise you these things, but I'm keeping my promise to Mickers, because I know he would be proud. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you and see what our future holds, because I love you so much through thick and thin, forever and always, Polly Ann. I love you. I'm not looking. Polly, I give you this ring. With all that I am. With all that I am. And all that I ever will be. And all that I ever will be. Wear it and know that I love you. Wear it and know that I love you. Brandon, I give you my father's ring. Which represents to me true and undying love. Which represents to me true and undying love. I give it to you with all that I am. I give it to you with all that I am. And all that I ever will be. And all that I ever will be. Wear it and know that you are loved. Wear it and know that you are loved. Holly and Brandon, you have expressed your love to one another through the commitment and promises you have just made in front of family, friends, and God our Father. With this in mind, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You have kissed a thousand times, but today the feeling is new. This kiss is a promise. Brandon, you may now kiss your bride. At 23 years old, I can truly say that I don't remember a time in my life that Holly wasn't in, and I don't take this for granted, because I know friendships like this are rare, and there's absolutely no one that I would rather have had by my side through every milestone in our lives. I was looking through pictures a few weeks ago and came across one of Holly and I at age three, and it got me thinking about what Holly and Brandon's future three-year-old child would be like. I immediately pictured myself in a very muddy situation that I would normally avoid at all costs because I know I would not be able to tell a kid of theirs no. And I also picture him playing with tractors because he sees his dad being a dedicated farmer, but at the same time he can file your taxes by the age of five. <laughs> Brandon, thank you for seeing all of the amazing qualities in Holly that I've seen through my entire life. She is the most caring, thoughtful, and intelligent person I've ever met. And I'm so glad that you came into her life. I love you both so much and can't just wait to spend even more decades by your side. Growing up, we were inseparable. We did everything together from playing school teacher to sharing secrets. She quickly became a sister I always wanted as a young girl. One day, I had the bright idea to introduce Brandon and Holly through Snapchat. Next thing you know, here we are today to celebrate them as now the bride and groom. Brandon, you have brought too much joy and happiness to Holly's life, and I want to say thank you for that. I know you will take care of her and love her for the rest of your lives together, and I'm so happy for the both of you. So let's raise a glass to the happy couple and congratulate to the new Mr. and Mrs. Shipley. Holly and I go way back, like way, way back to when she was born. As long as I can remember, for you being here, I remember like it was yesterday. One Christmas, Dad asked me a very important question. He said, Ben, do you want a baby sister or a weed whacker? Little me, with all the wisdom of a young boy, chose the weed whacker, of course. I mean, every young boy's dream is yard maintenance and playing with tools with their dad. But just a few weeks before Christmas, on December 5th, 2000, my world would change forever. I went from being a carefree kid wishing for a weed whacker to a big brother 
and more importantly, her protector. I did still get my weed whacker that Christmas morning, but dreams of yard maintenance with dad faded as guarding this helpless little bundle of joy, snot and tears became my full time job. <laughs> as we grew up, Holly became not just my sister, but also my best friend. From our days of playing make-believe to her achieving countless academic accolades, Holly has never ceased to amaze me. She is the kind of person who will drop everything just to help you out any way she is able. Holly, you've always been beautiful, selfless, intelligent, and thoughtful. I knew you'd grow up to be someone special, but here we are today and you've surpassed even my wildest expectations. From your earliest years, it was clear that you were destined for great things and incredible people, which brings us to Brandon. I first met Brandon, ironically, also just before Christmas, three years ago. It's funny to think about how Christmas time keeps popping up in our lives in significant ways. It was a quiet encounter as both of us are the silent type. At first, we didn't even exchange more than a few polite nods and a few words at most. But as time passed, I started to see the kind of man Brandon is. He's one of the funniest, caring, and most respectful men I know. He is kind-hearted and has quite a quiet strength about him. The more time I spend with him, the more I saw him as family. Knowing that Brandon will be there to cherish Holly, care for her, and protect her as I always have gives me immense relief. Lately, whether it's been various house projects, wedding projects, or just hanging out on the weekends, I've seen qualities in Brandon that let me know he embodies what it's meant to be a supportive partner. But as you both navigate this new chapter in life, my wish for you is simple, yet profound. I wish you both the happiest and most fulfilling life together, laughed often, and never stopped being each other's biggest supporters. So let's raise a glass to the newlyweds. May your love continue to grow stronger together each passing day, and may this be the continuation of a beautiful, joy-filled journey together. Thank you, everyone. I wrote cheers, but I have nothing in my hand, so cheers.